I am back and it is time to replace the transom on the tiny boat. But to do that, I need to make a motor stand because this thing's got to come off first. So let's go do that. got back from getting all the wood and stuff that we need to do this. So to show just how simple this is going to be, I'm actually just going to use my pickup truck as a workbench. Alright, so I'm going to start by cutting the 2 by 6s which are the front legs. Alright, so the easiest way to start here is to just measure up an inch and a half. Get your straight edge and draw your line. side we're gonna measure 37 and a half draw my lines boom cut these two make one more and the two front legs are done okay that's done now we take a two by four I'm going to cut a length to 20 inches on this guy. Alright, time to cut the 2x8. We're going to make that 20 inches long as well. Alright, so I've got the four main pieces for the front legs cut and made. We have a left and right leg the clamping board for the motor and just the brace for down at the feet. I'm going to go ahead and grab my drill and we're going to assemble these. Perfect. Front legs are done. So here we go. We're cutting the back legs now. Okay, we're going to 15 degrees. We're going to turn that till it's at 15 right there. Boom, there's our cut line. And we're going to measure up 36 inches. Boom, there's our mark. Alright, we have two rear legs. We need one more piece of 2x4 at 14 inches to connect the rear legs. So when you're assembling this guy, you kind of got to get the legs set out where they need to be. Both sides to sit flat on the floor. You just kind of want to wiggle things around until everything starts to line up right. I'm pretty darn close right there. And now I'm going to hold it here with a deck screw. Ding ding. Somebody wants to say hi. Come around the other side, hold it with a deck screw. There you go. My pivot holes. Got to drill these other holes. So these don't need to be exact. I'm just going to kind of come down here. Let's put this one right here, maybe.
Okay, there you go. Yeah, so all we got to do then is anytime we want to collapse this, you just undo this bolt, undo this bolt, and you can close her down, hang it up somewhere, slide it under your workbench, whatever, when you're not needing it. And then next time you need to get your outboard out, do some work on it, or want to take it off your boat, open her up, lock her down with your side bolts, and you can put your outboard on it. So I think there's really only one thing left to do. Let's go get our motor. All right, let's give this a shot. Now we're gonna carry her on over. Got that perfect tilt for the bracket. Boom. And she's on, snug these down. And there you go. Perfect little outboard motor stand. Yeah, so you can't beat this little project. It gives you somewhere safe and secure to mount your outboard while you're working on your boat or if you just want to get it off your boat, like for the winter or whatever. If you're in that kind of climate, yeah, you can't beat this. I have less than $25 in material altogether. And it honestly, it took me more time to set up the cameras, move the cameras around and record this than it did to build it. It's not hard at all. So I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, subscribe, and uh, share this whole experience uh, with me of building this boat and just having fun on the water and stuff. Uh, until next time, I'll see you on the water.